Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got two replays in the German Tier 9 Premium Medium Tank, the Kampfpanzer 50T. A tank that is, well, pretty damn solid, fantastic. It's a hell of a lot of fun. The gun on it is fantastic. The mobility on it is great. It's got great camo and it's also got pretty damn decent armor too. It's a really good all-round medium tank. It does everything pretty well. The only thing it doesn't have is... Well, I say it doesn't have. It still has pretty good DPM, but it's, it's reload for 320 alpha at tier 9. It is a little bit slow, but that's like pretty much the only downside, which makes it pretty balanced. It's a, it's a pretty damn fun tank. It's really solid. And the Kampfpanzer 50T is one that we all earned... Well, most people earned when they were playing just before 6.0 in the three monthly earn ops when people earned like the Hellcat 105 and the 279E and that set of our earn ops. The Kampfpanzer 50T was one of those. And most people have already earned it for free. And it's an earn up again for this month, this week, this I, decent amount of time anyway. You're going to be able to earn the Kampfpanzer and it's a really easy earn up. So what do you have to do to earn the Kampfpanzer? Well, to earn the Kampipanzer, all you've literally got to do is earn 250 XP or more in a battle. 40 times. So for most people, as long as you don't YOLO in, do nothing and die, or you know, commit suicide, you will be able to earn this tank in 40 games. So all you'll have to do is play 40 games and you will have this tank. And this tank is absolutely fabulous. It is so much fun. It's just got everything going for it. And it's one of those things, weird that they've given it away again when they already gave it away, but since it has been, what? almost two years since they gave this tank away. I can't remember which one of those earn ops this tank was actually given away in. Most people are probably actually, there's probably going to be quite a few people who have been playing since 6.0 who have never actually earned this tank or never played it or never bought it. And if you haven't played it, you're going to be in for a world of fun because this tank is great, like I say. And yeah, you're going to have pretty much all month to be able to earn it and play 40 battles. So... It's an easy, easy earn up, and you're going to have a really easy earn up for a really great tank. So, what do I run as a crew on the Campy Panzer? Well, on the Campy Panzer, I run Born Leader, Rapid Reload, Sixth Sense, Situational Awareness, Trap Mechanic, Steady Aim, Run and Gun, Camouflage Expertise, and Silent Driving. Now, I run Camouflage Expertise because the camo on this tank is really good, so I want to make it better with Camouflage Expertise. And then I also run silent driving to make my camo better while I'm on the move, make the most of this really good camo. Now I do, it depends on what crew I find and put in at the time, because obviously the crew system can be very slow at finding crews and putting them lots of different clicking. So sometimes I will run a crew instead with, si not silent driving, with camouflage expertise? No, muffled shot. We got there in the end. We, th we were thinking of all the camo perks. Yeah, muffled shot to make sure that my camo after firing isn't impacted that badly depends which crew i find to be honest silent driving is nice to make it so that if i am moving my camo isn't that bad because it reduces it by quite a lot but it's, it's your choice how you want to set it up in terms of equipment i run rammer camo net and optics optics to be able to spot for myself all the time rammer because i want to make the dpm better and camo net again to make the most of this absolutely fantastic camo that this tank has and you know by doing that i can stay on spotted really easily you know i can make the most of really stealthy positions you get a map like westfield you can use the middle really easily and fire from concealment not get spotted that sort of thing there's a lot of maps where that helps and yeah the campy panzer i love the campy panzer it's always it's a great tank and i don't play it enough these days i used to play it a lot i don't I definitely don't play it enough it's just a solid tank so in this first game on heilbronn we've got the weird assault variant that is just awful and we were attacking, which really helps because their whole team is hemmed in on the one side of the map. We've managed to get 6k damage so far and a little bit of assistance, a couple of kills. 
and we're just starting to push in on their team who are in the town. There's a heavy tank down this three line. So what we're going to do is we're going to come around this corner and see if we can get a shot into him. There we go. It's a Caro. Aiming for the drive wheel so I could try and track it. But unfortunately, we end up missing and going above because I didn't aim just long enough. He ends up bouncing. We get a nice shot into him there. We take a hit from behind. And it's like, oh, come on. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and push forward, get around this camp, this Caro P88. Use him as a shield from the heavy tank that just shot me from above as well. And then finish him off. Unfortunately, the other tank that shot us down the one line gets another shot in. Which puts us down to 700 hit points, which ain't good. So, what we're going to do, now we know that other heavy tank just got shut down that was in front of us. We're going to go after this heavy tank that we'd spotted when we were crossing after the Caro. He is somewhere down this two line. Unfortunately, we bled a lot of hit points to him and the other guy. Hit points were probably needed and we're going to need... It's going to count for all, for it all in the end in this game. And we're just going to go after him. I mean, the matchmaking we got in this game is extremely nice. It's literally, there's two tier nines in the entire game on our team and on their team. And it's filthy matchmaking, but we are making the most of it. And the camp fans can make the most of it. So there we go. We find the VZ44. One is the last tank in this corner he gets a shot into us as we're crossing i wanted to close the gap so that i wasn't just caught in the open and i could use this rock to go around we get up close pop a shot in unfortunately we've only got heat left so it only does track damage we get up close so that he bounces off our upper plate we get a nice shot into his side he shouldn't be able to kill us in one shot which is nice so i'm keeping up to us if he doesn't high roll i said it if he doesn't high roll but unfortunately he does, which means we end up getting killed just as he dies. But we finished the game with 5 kills, 7.5k damage, 1300 assistance, the ace tanker, the high caliber, and two point, well, 2k base XP and 2.1k base XP. A really nice game for the Kampanzer, an absolutely solid German medium tank. And yeah, we just got really unlucky at the end of that game. We, we went after that guy and he sort of caught us out in the open. We had to close the gap to make sure we were a little bit closer. He ended up actually out traversing his. We couldn't quite get out frontal armor towards him and then it was like you know what he's only got 320 alpha we got 344 hit points he'd have to high roll to kill us and of course he high rolled to kill us <laughs> as rng has it rng just likes to crap on you at times really sad actually because in that game we're at seven and a half k damage when we when he killed us there was actually two tanks on the one line behind us that we could have actually got up behind bin hauled down and farmed or get some shots into it, at least we could have hit like 9k in that game quite easily and unfortunately the rng that we got against that vz cut us short on it but it was still a great game seven and a half k damage is a great game for this tank it's a great game for a tier nine and yeah this tank is very very capable so we're on to the second game and we're on casserine and we're going to go up to this little position here that i like to take on Catherine when we're on this spawn because from here obviously we can get shots along the one line we can cut anyone off that's trying to get up the one line and you can get you know decent shots here and there so we're just staying here for the minute while we are detected because it's like okay is it just the t54 that's looking at me maybe this replay was before they brought in the artillery detected so it's not artillery that's detecting us right now although artillery does like to look at this position so you've got to be very very aware of it and this position is good for something like the Kampf Panzer because obviously we can get hauled down and by being hauled down we can stay safe and we can dish out the hurt now unfortunately we ricocheted off the T-54's upper plate a minute ago that's because obviously the T-54 has a solid upper plate and at that angle APCR it was just going to ricochet unfortunately but now that T-54 is staying behind that rock or that building, it's like, okay, I, you know what, I'm feeling like I might move forward. But unfortunately, he does start to move and the shot just whiffs him as he was going past. Really just sort of bad timing when firing that, unfortunately. But we're moving on top of this ridgeline so we can try and get some shots at these guys on their ridgeline. There's a chieftain over there that we're just looking at. Just seeing if we can see it, but unfortunately we can't. There's an IS-3 in the distance as well. Unfortunately, he gets just unspotted just as we realise he's there. If we'd realised he was there for a second or two earlier, we probably would be able to get a shot at him. Because from this little ridge in front of us, if they have guys on the little ridges at F6 and G7, you can get shots at them really easily. And people do love to go there because obviously you can get shots along our area as well. Now, unfortunately, we end up missing the shot on the tank while well, the TA and K gets shut down by this go to T50 just as we fire, which is really unfortunate timing. 
But it is what it is, and it's like, okay, you know what? I'm going to move up to the next ridge line. In the next ridge line, I can start facing off the Chieftain and the T28 Pro. We get a nice shot into the IS3 on the move. Like I said, I don't run vert stabs, and you're seeing that this gun is still really, really nice, even without the vert stabs. It behaves so well. It's just such an accurate gun. And then we got a nice shot into the other guy as well, which is good. Now, I was looking for the T28 prototype or the Chieftain, just poking up to see if they were there, but they're actually behind the ridge line on our right is there i'm wary a little bit that they might push but i want to get some shots into this is3 and the other guy because obviously from here i can get some nice shots into them and stay safe we get a shot into the i3 and set them on fire then this t54 yolos us so we get a nice shot into his side he gets shut down by my friends who actually move in and make it so that the likelihood of the t28 and that yellowing in is well not that likely because they can protect me from that side and so I can just farm at this Skoda T50 who is very stark and the IS3 with impunity I can stay safe on this ridge line stay hull down and we actually get unspotted here and this is where the camo of the tank having the camo net having something like muffled shot or having silent driving you know really helps this is where the camo is filthy these guys could not see me and we get to farm some shots into them and shut down the Skoda T50 there now the T28 come on top of the ridge line, it's like, okay, you know what, I've got to turn my attention to these guys now, the Tortoise and T28 prototype. I've got to turn my focus to what is in front of me because, well, otherwise we're just leaving my teammates to it and that's not good. The T28 prototype gets shut down by the Centurion Action 10. Here's the Tortoise, it's like, right, okay, I'm going to track you on the move and now I'm round the back of this Tortoise. Well, he's going to suffer turretless TD things. Really unfortunate for this tortoise, but it is what it is. We didn't want to go on this in on this guy without tracking him. If we didn't attempt to track him, he probably could have kept traversing, making it awkward for us, and we wouldn't be able to get some of those pens in. If you're going on a tank like that, on a turret turretless TD, we'll get the words out, English, it's hard. If you're going in on a turretless TD, you want to try and track it. You want to try and track it so you can get beyond its gun traverse, and then you can dish out the damage on it. Now, we go for a shot on the side of the Chieftain, but unfortunately, we end up tracking him only. And then we ricochet off his back end because we just missed the part we can pen. Really unfortunate. This time, we make sure the shell is going in. We get a nice shot into his side. He's in a perfect position for us to shoot. Unfortunately, we ricochet off his upper plate as well. We did only have a little bit of his lower plate to hit. But now that Chieftain's gone, we're going to look for a shot on the 268 version 5 that's over there. We get a nice shot into him. I was aiming for his drive wheel. I don't. I didn't actually get it, unfortunately. But he is out in the open. He's in a very compromised position. And we do get to shut down the 268 version 5. Now, actually, I'm pretty lucky. That SU-14-2, as you can see there, their artillery piece is AFK. That entire time I was giving him my ass. And my ass was in the breeze. If he'd been playing, he could have quite easily one-shot us there. Really, we probably, instead of farming the guys that were there, we probably should have gone after their artillery to make sure that that deadly threat from behind was gone. But, hey, you take, take what you can, right? We're fairly lucky it was AFK, and we managed to get the shots in to shut him down. We're so far up to 4.9k damage with 1,500 assistance. We're doing pretty well so far. There's four tanks left on their team. We've got seven left. We're so far up. They've got a fair few tanks just over this ridge line. So it's like, okay, you know what? I'm going to go up on top of this ridge and see if I can get some shots down on these guys. So there's the 430 version 2 out in the open. We get a shot into his side. There's the Projecto 66 as well. It's like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to try and track and pen this Projecto 66. But unfortunately, we only pen him. We just jerked our own a little bit to the right there, which meant we couldn't track him as well. And unfortunately, we low roll there, so we can't quite finish him off, which is kind of sad. But he ends up getting finished off by our GW Tiger Pig. And now from this position here, we're going to get some shots down onto the IS-3 in the middle. Because from here, obviously, you know, you can use your gun depression to shoot the guys that are, are in the middle down there. And we can't quite see. He's just staying safe. I, I don't know why I even bothered taking that shot. It was a bad choice of shot. Unfortunately, we didn't get the shot onto the IS-3. And it's like, is that guy going to give it? Give us a shot? This IS-7 looks like he's coming round, so... We we'll try and get shot into his lower plate, but with the heat, we hit the most ex the most armoured part, and unfortunately, don't pen it. We do get a shot down onto his upper plate, though, which means we get a nice shot into there. It makes the armour on that tank not as good if we're shooting down on it, because obviously, the strength of it is on flat. But now, he, that IS-7 
is going in on my medium tank. And it's actually pretty quickly turned around. We were 7-4 up. We're now only 3-1. And it's an IS-7. You, you've got to take an IS-7 seriously. It's not a threat to be taken lightly. But fortunately, he is currently distracted with my other medium tank. We have a lot of hit points as well, which is nice. Unfortunately, Centurion Action 10 misses him from behind. But... Like I say, we've got all the hit points. We can take a hit from this guy. We can get some shots in with our heat rounds into his lower plate. And we get to shut him down. And we finish the game with 7.5k damage and 1,500 assistance. And the victory with two point, nearly 2.3k base XP. A really nice game for the Campy Panzer. Campy Panzer 50T. We get the Sniper, the Confederate, the High Caliber. What a tank. It's such a nice tier 9 medium tank. It does everything well. It's a hell of a lot of fun. And you're all going to be getting it for free in a very, very easy earn up, which you literally only have to get 250 XP in 40 battles. So as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.